Yo, what is up everybody? Today is a really awesome video just because I am finally finished detailing the 2015 Cadillac Escalade. This job is by no means perfect, but it looks so much better than it did when we got the truck. It is insane the difference from start to finish. I know that I've dropped about five, six videos just on this truck alone. I've put my blood, sweat, and tears in this truck, man. And when I say blood, I actually cut my finger working and got blood all over the place. So that's not a lie. But I swear I've put my heart in this job because I want to show you guys that somebody that doesn't own a detailing shop, somebody that just is in their barn that has done it a number of times and puts the work into it, you could really get some near professional results and I could have even done a better job on this body but there were so many scratches and it would have taken so much wet sanding and polishing that I just did a heavy cut polish and a quick wax and the body looks outstanding there is some imperfections like I said but I just I couldn't fix it all it would have taken way too much time the interior also came out so much better than it was again that's not perfect either but it looks great if you ask me it looks a lot better so I'm just gonna jump right into this here and show you guys some of the results. And we're gonna take a quick walk around of the truck. We're gonna show you the inside of the truck and you guys can let me know what you think. If you're watching, you gotta let me know in the comments. That's what I'm looking for the most. I would love to see what you guys think about this kind of work. Let me know how you think I did. It's a Monday, we're taking the truck to the auction. The sale is tomorrow morning, so I'll have you guys there too. And it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be super, super special because like I said, this truck, took a ton of effort of mine and I'm really happy with the results. So without further ado, let's jump right in here and show you guys what it looks like. And I'll go ahead and just take a quick walk around talking to you guys. And then I'm gonna actually get some slow motion shots on this thing, but like, just take a peek at this thing. I never had it in the shop with video. Oh, I'm gonna turn on these lights too. I never really had it in the shop with video. So I didn't get to show you guys like a whole walk around in the shop, but um, I did get the same video shot outside before and after so that looks you could see similarities but you know you could just tell the thing is popping I'm super excited with the results it, it could be better but this is gonna do great it's gonna come through the block looking like a very clean truck and I'm pretty sure that it's gonna get a ton of attention just based off how clean it is you know it's got the special wheels I mean come on guys it's a Cadillac Escalade how could you go wrong Something that we didn't get on video was, um, my dad actually did this while I was working on the truck, but we pulled out the radio and we replaced the broken screen. That was an issue we were having and we got that replaced. So we're excited about that too. I'm thrilled with the results guys. So if you are too, leave a comment in the section below. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to this video because this is gonna be coming all the time. This is the kind of work that I really love doing and I have many more uh, lined up for you guys. So stay tuned and watch my channel. I'd really appreciate that. But here we go, I'm gonna stop talking and get you guys some shots of the body. Perfect.
I'm actually driving the Escalade. This might be the first time I've driven it on the highway since we've gotten the truck. So I'm not too sold on how it's gonna run just because it's been sitting for so long. But looking at the car from the uh, pilot seat, it looks clean. It looks really clean. The body looks clean. Um, luckily, it's not raining outside, so as we transport it to the auction, the body's not going to get too dirty. I did run through some salt, and it's all over the lower runners, the rocker panels, so that's not great, but I'm not too upset about it because I brought my rags and detailing spray, so I'm able to wipe it down before it goes in the tunnel for some pictures. But um, in my short little two-mile trip from the house to the gas station, the truck really did run pretty nicely. And I'm pretty pleased with it. I mean, it looks good. It shifts. It's got a little hiccup in the shift, I think, just because it's been sitting for so long. I don't know if it's like a dual clutch transmission or what the story is, but I think that it could shift a little bit smoother. But I'm not going to complain. It's a 2015. It's got 110,000 miles. The truck is still in great condition. You know, I know that the interior was pretty bad. I know that the body of the truck was severely bad. It's a solid truck, so hopefully that doesn't have any issues when I go to sell it, when they post-sale inspect the truck. Um, I don't run into any arbitration or they don't try and do something to the truck so that they don't have to keep it. I don't know. The truck is in such nice shape overall that uh, I really think it shouldn't matter. So the brakes do have a little bit of uh, warpage to them. I can feel a little th 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 when I hit the pedal. That's from sitting for so long, I bet that uh, they kind of build up a weird warpage and you can feel it in the pedal. But every once in a while, hopefully it changes when I get on the highway and get up to speed, you could feel the transmission shift down and it, it kind of stutters. So I I don't know if it's arbitratable, if it's something to complain about. I don't know. If, like I said, it's a dual clutch transmission. It kind of feels just a little bit, uh, it just feels a little weird if you ask me. So we're actually at cruising speeds now and I'm cool with it so far. I'm gonna set the cruise control and flip the camera around and show you guys what's up. I don't love that. It's shaking pretty heavily right there at uh, it was like 65, 70 miles per hour. It's like stuck in between a gear it almost feels like. stutter I mean the thing runs great all right so we're almost out of construction here hopefully people pick up the speed we're set to 66 I'm gonna go ahead and flip this guy around oh oh it's doing that stutter again something that's pretty cool I don't know if you can see it in the video but it has a heads up heads up display on the dash well, I see it, it's flickering because it's an LED. I don't, I don't know if my camera can pick that up nicely. Uh, but there's, it tells me the speed of the truck and the speed limit right on the dash. It's pretty cool. I'll try and zoom in on that. You can hear that shuddering. I don't know why it's doing that. It's gotta be the transmission trying to get into a deeper gear. Maybe we will flip it into manual mode and I will uh, try and shift up. But you can see the dash and everything. This truck is, super duper clean now uh it's pretty clean setup for 2015 it's got a lot of technology you know it's a digital dash it's got this touch screen head unit um you know overall it's a pretty clean setup if you ask me i like my tahoe a little better the the dash and the waterfall there i'd pick my tahoe over the uh escalade or like even the new model tahoes i'd probably pick that over this escalade just because the Escalade's a little too gaudy or something. It's too chunky and, ugh, you know, it's just, it's too much. It's nice, but it's just a little too much. So, I'm not gonna record this entire drive. I just wanted to show you guys I'm out on the road in the truck. And, uh, you know, you can kind of see what the, what the back looks like from here. You can see the passenger seat. I got my lunch, water. The truck's super clean. I'm super pumped about it. If you guys have been watching the video, let me know what you think so far about how the truck looks. I know I've asked you to comment earlier, but if you're still watching, 
you might as well leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think and how I did. The truck just looks so much better and I'm super pleased with it. And I hope that tomorrow at the sale it sells. I will uh, try and get some video of us pulling in the tunnel and all of that. So I will be catching you guys when I actually arrive at the auction. And thank you so much for watching. It really means everything to me. And uh, I've really been enjoying making some videos. So we're going to keep pushing forward and seeing what I can do. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We're about to, about 10 miles, 15 miles, 20 minutes. We drop the truck off at the auction. I'll get some video of it in the tunnel. And tomorrow will be the big day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll be talking to you soon. Catch you in a minute. This truck's in the sale tomorrow. Sorry? This truck's in the sale tomorrow. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. How to tell the security gate? I'm bringing the truck in. You can see all the cars lined up. Hopefully, there's not a line in the tunnel. Uh, there's a line in the tunnel, but I'm just gonna skip it. We're gonna see if I could just jump the spots. Mm. We're jumping the spots. All right, now I gotta go and see the front desk. That's pretty much it, I'll hop out and get a shot of it right here. I gotta go see the front desk and tell them uh, I'm bringing this thing in. With this guy, grab it for a second to put one in for me. Sure. Yeah, I hop the line a little bit so you know. You know, you know, you know. how I always you know enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. Jump in there. Dude. <laughs> how you been, though, dude? Good, bro. Just trying to stay alive. Yeah. Swear, just trying to stay alive. Yeah, try to get my hands from freezing. Oh my god, yeah, I hate this cold weather. I'll tell you what, working on cars in the cold weather, <laughs> it makes you regret doing what I'm doing. You know. It sucks. And yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, man, I, I hate this. I All right, just lock him in, I'll get you. Alright bro. Yeah, that's my GoPro. I'll be filming. <laughs> I film all my work. I'm trying to make a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. You know. What's up? <laughs> Yo, right, dude. Yeah, so I'll be I'll be filming everything. I'm trying to get there. Yeah, I have the head mount, but you know, for stuff like this, I just let it run like cause I'll be over there like taking shots as a it's too hard to get it off the thing. Yeah, when you when you can have yeah, right, exactly, exactly. My bad, guys. Yeah, bro. Well, who's, who's it? Yo, what's up, Reggie? How you doing, bro? Yeah, just mount it on my forehead. I do that when I'm driving my car and, you know, like trying to catch, like, close to that. But for right now, it's like, look, when I need to hit, like, a shot of the car, it's like, you know? Yeah, you know. All right, wait, we're way back here. No, my, Jake's got us. Yo, my bad. I had the I had the key in my pocket. That's my bad. I just I just pulled up. I was grabbing him. Dude, well, I'll put the key in there now for you. Uh, how about you, bro? You been good? Yeah, it's chilling. Still Pretty doing for all the this? holiday season. Oh God, yeah, bro. I actually just got a girlfriend like a month ago. So oh yeah. Just taking up my time. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Trust me, I know. The biggest change in my life in a while. <laughs> Yo, I think kids take all my time. <laughs> you got kids? Yeah, I have two kids, bro. I have a, he's Joe, little Joe's turning seven, Damn. and uh, my my daughter's turning three in April. Really? Yeah. Thank you, George. That's awesome, man. Yeah, dude, I love my kids. I can't wait till I have some. 
Yeah. I'm a little young right now. I'm only 20. But. Yeah, I had my son at 23, so. Yeah, I'm getting there. Don't jump the gun early. <laughs> it changes everything. All right, what's your code? A01234. A01234. Yeah. Okay, so that's the code. Yeah. Portable car. That's me, bro. Boom, boom. I got you. Dude, I really appreciate you doing that. Yo, you when I see... Do you want 5A52 or 5A53? 5A52. 5A52. When, yeah, whenever I see the line like that and there's cars back there, I'm always pulling in the tunnel. Yeah. Like, because I just want to get the thing right, right up yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. You know Good what show, I mean? Man. Dude, I'm nice seeing you. I'll be yeah. here tomorrow. Maybe I'll catch you. All right, All right. Yo, wait. I'll be right there. Yeah, who would buy a convertible Mercedes? The more I record and take my camera places, people are so much. <laughs> I like that. I caught that on video too, so I'll make sure I put it in the video. All right, there you go. <laughs> I'll go this one real quick. Of the Cadillac there? That yes. ours, is it? No way it's ours. Of course there's another one though. Was it Ganley? Three, no. Here's Wonder it. what that thing's worth. Eighteen. 18. No, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like that little door handle thing? Yeah, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna play around with it. It's not with the Cadillac. Mine looks better. Yeah. Mine's does. cleaner. It shines more. Yeah, mine's cleaner. There's that Jaguar from the tow lane. Oh, sitting yeah. here, sitting here still. Somebody took it. Got it running, brought it back. Learned how much of a lemon it was. Sal's cars. Oh. You know who I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Bucky. Bucky. Yeah. <laughs> That's Bucky.
This was the one I was just looking at. That was it. Roll back a little bit. Roll back. I thought it was an older one. 2,800, 2,000 miles. Jump out. Yeah, I guess we could jump out real quick. I hope the value of the truck is a lot. Be 
Beamer with his door. Look at the door. Oh, look at that though. It's a little bit. That's a little bad. No, this is three series. I just thought it was like a nice new car. Is the, key, is the key in this thing? No key. Something was up with that ignition too. No, we need this truck right here for real. This is what we need. Truck. It's just a work truck for right now. We can clean it up and I can sell it again later. But low key, let's check the frame. Though. You know how that is. I think that's solid on that side. Frame, pretty solid. I think we're just gonna have to pay attention to peak too. Yeah, it looks solid. It looks nice and clean. This is a nice little truck. This is something we could drive for. I mean, this thing is too broken. We ain't getting this. That's what I was thinking. It's so, so, it's worse than it's, it's it's not worth it. It ain't worth it. All right. Solid truck, pretty clean. Cab and a half. Check the frame. Oh, oh this one's clean. I ain't even gotta check the other side. It's got some rust on the bed. Rust on the bed. This nice truck, 537. Gonna have to watch that one. Yo, let's go guys. I can't believe how dark it gets so early. It's really becoming winter quickly. And I don't love that. But today was great. We got the truck dropped off at the auction and I won't say it ran perfectly because that'd be a lie. Um, it kind of had a weird shifting issue and I don't think it's something severe, but the car sat for so long, maybe it's something in the programming or the computer needs to be relearned. I don't know. There could be a hundred things, but I'm not going to be able to green light the truck tomorrow. So that's a big bummer. I just don't want to take the chance of selling it, getting a huge number and then it being post-sailed or somebody taking the truck out of the auction after they buy it running into some issues and then them towing it back i don't know i don't want to hit with be hit with uh surprise so we're going to be red lighting the truck which it's kind of a letdown but it didn't change the value too much uh the current value is nineteen thousand one hundred and eighty dollars or something like that so it's close to our target range what we we're looking to get and um we're just going to have to be okay with it. So tomorrow, the auction starts at 9 o'clock. I like to get there a little early so I can take a peek at some cars. I was showing you guys what was there already today. But uh, I'll bring the camera along and I'll try and actually get some footage of some cars that will be there. Which could be pretty cool. Um, maybe something different for the videos. But then I'm going to spend the majority of the time with the truck at in the lane that it sits so I can make sure that nobody plays with the truck. A couple of times in the past I've, I've brought a vehicle there and people pull spark plugs or stupid things because they're trying to get you to have the truck run wrong or you know scare people away because of XYZ. Particularly on that black Tahoe that I have a video of somebody pulled many of the coils out and the engine light was flashing and I didn't realize until after the sale my buddy was like dude the, the engine light was flashing on the truck I said no it wasn't man. I, would, I, I know for sure I drove that truck and it was a green light. He said, bro, go look at the truck. It's flashing. What do I know? I popped the hood and 
two of the coils were plugged, unplugged from each side, and uh, you know, it was running like crap. So I'm sure that scared a lot of people away, but I did get the price that I wanted, so I'm not gonna complain. But I don't wanna have that happen to this Escalade. It's way too nice. I don't want anybody to play with it. So I'm gonna be sitting with the truck. I'll probably either sit in the driver's seat or, you know, I'll be wiping it down with my instant detailer and rag so it looks as best as it can while it rolls through the block. Um, so yeah, that'll be tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna take you to the auction and show you guys what that looks like and hopefully the truck will sell and I can get that all on camera because I'd be pretty thrilled with that and because I, I really need this truck to sell so um, with all that being said I'm going to be getting out of here for tonight thank you guys for coming along the journey of the Escalade it's going to be over soon hopefully when it sells we'll celebrate together and for all of you guys that actually watch my videos I seriously appreciate it if you leave your name in the comments or some kind of something in the comments below, I'll make sure that I read that. I'll respond and I will uh, I'll comment or I will do a shout out in the video. If you leave a comment and you want to be a part of the video, I'll, I'll shout you out. Whatever you want me to say. If it's like your birthday, tell me it's your birthday. I'll be like, yo, happy birthday, Mikey. So seriously, leave me some comments. Let me know you guys are enjoy, uh, enjoying this kind of stuff so I know what I uh, should be making for future references and see if I should focus on all this stuff and me talking or yada 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 xyz so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already just make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up I'm gonna be trying to drop at least uh three videos a week at least three videos a week so I'm out of here guys and it'll be a bright and early day tomorrow out in the cold so maybe we'll get some sunshine weather that'd be great I'll talk to you guys soon Peace out.